what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so today i filmed this look i know i told you guys that in my last video that i would film that look but i tried to recreate it and it just did not work out right and i'm like eh. i'm like i think i'll hold off on that and i'll try something different so this is what i went for and i swear like i'm being haunted by like the film gods or whatever because i filmed this look yesterday and I was gonna go and edit it, got sat down, about to get to editing, and then tell me why a clip went missing. I don't wanna miss any clips and miss any steps in a tutorial and be like, oh guys, sorry, you know, this just went missing. And so then I decided to go ahead and refilm this look today, and I actually like how it came out today a lot better anyway. And don't mind if it looks like I have drool in my mouth. It's actually rubber bands. And if you guys wanna know anything about my braces, I'll link my braces vlog down below, but yeah, I'll give you an update on that as well. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you wanna see how I get this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. So before we get started, I just want to quickly explain that this clip got lost, so I had to film it once again, but all the steps and all the colors are the exact same as what I did before, but unfortunately, since the clip got lost, there's no way of recovering it, so therefore I had to film it a third time. Fun, right? So I already primed my eyes using Tarte Shape Tape in the color is tan. Now I'm just going to go in with Makeup Geek Desert Sands as a transition color. Now we're going to go in with Cocoa Bear and we're going to pop that in the crease as well. And we're just going to blend that out in our crease. And what I like to do is take Desert Sands, the brush that we use to apply that, and take any excess product to blend out any edges to avoid harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with NYX, the NYX Ultimate Palette, I believe. This is like the really colorful one. I'm using a MAC 217 brush and we're just going to pop that directly in our crease to kind of start building that blue color. Now I'm gonna go into the Morphe 35B palette and take this navy color on the same MAC 217 brush and we're just gonna start to blend that in the crease exactly where we place that blue color and we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out to kind of add definition to the eye and so we'll have a gradient effect of kind of like a natural color all the way to this blue color. And then I'm just gonna use that same brush that I used for Cocoa Bear to blend out any harsh edges to make sure everything blends seamlessly. Now I'm just gonna go in with this black color, same palette from the 35B palette, and I'm just gonna kind of mark where I wanna cut my crease at because of course right where the crease is cut you want that to be like the darkest at least that's how I like it then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with the MAC 217 brush and since we're doing a lot of blending another thing I like to do is take a detailed brush like this it's just a really small brush and to go back where we sketched out the black and then just blend that out again just to make sure I have it as deep and as dark as possible um, because like I said the whole gradient effect is what we're going for, especially when I do cut creases. That's how I like to do them. Then I'm just going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape and begin to cut the crease. This stuff is like magic when you're doing a cut crease because it's so full coverage. It just covers everything and cleans everything up. Like if you're doing a cut crease, you need this product. Then you want to just go ahead and set your lid with any loose powder. I'm not going to be applying eyeshadow. I just think it's fine like this. Then I'm gonna go in with Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy, I believe this is. I'll leave it down below. And you just wanna line your eyes on the lowest part of the cut crease, um, so where it's darkest at. And you wanna line your eyes from inner corner to outer corner. And you wanna flick it out a little bit because you want, we're gonna have our eyeliner be parallel to what the cut crease is. Now I'm going to line my eyes using the Inglot Gel Liner in the color 77. It's just a black color. And you want to keep everything parallel. So you don't want the wing to touch where the cut crease is. And then what I like to do is take the gel liner and fill everything in. And then I'll go in with my NYX Matte Gel, matte gel Liner. Matte liner and i'll just go ahead and fill that in because as you can see my lids are pretty wrinkly or problematic whatever you call them so that's what works best for me then i'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my lids it's a big shot mascara it's literally been my favorite 
Then I'm going to use these Ardell Wispies, and then I just added individual lashes to them because I'm mad extra. I'm just so extra, guys. Like, seriously, it's kind of ridiculous. But then I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on my eyes, and I use the House of Lashes Lash Glue because that is bomb AF. So now that we have our lashes on, I'm gonna start by priming my face. I'm using this Milani primer. It's a hydrating primer, but I'm looking for some newer primers. So let me know if you guys like have some really re good recommendations, whether it's drugstore or not for primers. Then I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation. Too geeked about this. If you guys have seen any of my videos before, you know that I've been complaining how I really wanted to use this foundation and come to find out, I freaking love it. It's amazing. It looks amazing in photos, and I am in the color toffee. So for me, unfortunately, me being a deeper skin tone, I had to go online to get it, but it was still only five bucks, and I was really happy. But this foundation is bomb. Like, do not sleep on Wet n Wild. Like, they these drugstore brands are on the come up, but y'all, this is oh my gosh, I've been wearing this on a daily basis since I got it like three weeks ago. Like, I've been loving this, living, oh my gosh. And then this brush, too. This is the Morphe M439. This brush is bomb, and I usually don't even like to use brushes for foundations. But yes, that brush, A1. Then I'm just going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Concealer. Come to find out, this stuff is pretty good, too. I was so surprised. I was like, okay. Okay, what and why? Okay, I see where you're going with this. Like, I see your vibes. Like, it just was life. But I went ahead and just highlighted with that concealer because I'm just rambling. And then I just went ahead and blended that out with a Morphe G2 brush because I was too lazy to go soak my beauty blender. And I just really wanted to continue filming because I was on a roll at this point and praying that hopefully this would not be cut out with all the issues I was having. But no, this uh, concealer is pretty bomb. It's pretty damn bomb. It wouldn't replace my Tarte Shape Tape, but it's really good. It's really good. Like if you're balling on a budget, definitely pick that concealer up. So let me stop rambling. So then I just go in with my G2 brush and my foundation brush, just to make sure I don't have any harsh edges from where I highlight to where like my, the foundation is. And then I'm just gonna, gonna go in with Laura Mercy A. This is the translucent powder and I'm just gonna kind of pack that under my eyes. I'm not gonna bake, but I just set it under there so I don't have any creasing because my under eyes have been really dry lately. And I'm just gonna set that with the rest of my face as well. So now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I'm going to take this banana shade and I'm going to dust that under my eye just to help brighten it. But I don't pack it on, I just dust it on or else if you pack it on it looks really chalky and cakey and that's what I don't want. Now I'm gonna go in with Tooth & Nail Cosmetics. This is their highlighter in the color Moon. Um, I'll leave their Instagram down below because that's where I found them. My friend Ari actually got this for me. She has a beauty page on Instagram and it's really good. You guys should definitely go check her out. I'll leave her at name down below. Now I'm gonna go back into that NYX palette using the same MAC 217 brush. And we're gonna buff out our lower lash line with that color just to add you know, a little bit of color to the lower lash line because I thought it needed something. Then I'm just gonna go in with that Desert Sands color to blend out the edges because I'm not going for the black eyed look today. We'll save that for a different tutorial. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with that navy blue color from the Morphe 35B, color B palette and we're just gonna go ahead and buff that out. Just make sure there's no harsh lines or edges. We want everything to be blended like usual. So now I'm just going to go ahead into the Inglot Gel Liner and I'm going to line my inner corner. Now, so for this eye, it did really good. And then the other eye, it was just went to, it, it was screwed. I was just trying to be extra like usual. And life was like, no, you need to take a step back and chill out. You're good there. But then I'm just going to go ahead and add some blush just to add some structure to my face. Now I'm just going to go in with Sun Dipped, the Glow Kit. And I'm going to take bronze and summer. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight on all the high points of my face. Cheekbones, the nose, the bridge of the nose, all that fun stuff. 
And then, of course, for the star of the show, I'm going to go in with MAC Young Attitude. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over my lips. And that pretty much sums up the whole tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.